Good evening and a very warm welcome to our Tese service this evening at here at St Andrews. I'm joined by Kathleen and Tony who will be reading to our Bible passages and will be helping with the responses during the service. Also joined by the Harmer family who are helping with our musical worship as well this evening. Yesterday, in the church calendar, we remembered St. Benedict of Nursia. He was alive at the, during the end of the 5th century and the early 6th century. We don't, don't know an awful lot about him, but what we do remember him for is his rule. His rule for monastic life, which has been the, the bedrock for monasticism and different monastic communities ever since then. His golden rule was aura and labora, working and praying. This evening we've got a chance during the service to spend some time to ponder and to pray. To wonder about the calling that God has on our lives and to spend time in prayer. If you're not familiar with Teze services, then do just join in the chants when you become familiar with them. We sing them each chant a number of times. We sing them so many times that they become partly a prayer and they aid our prayer. There'll also be a period of silence during the middle of the service for us to listen to what God might be saying to us this evening. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. A light no darkness can quench. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Even the darkness is not dark for you. And the night shines like the day. Let your light scatter darkness. And fill your church with glory. Christ, the light of the world, has come to dispel the darkness of our hearts. In his light, let us examine ourselves and confess our sins. Lord God, we have sinned you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw you to himself and cleanse you from your sins, that you may behold the glory of his Son, 
the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. reading from the letter of uh, Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 3. According to the grace of God given to me, like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation, and someone else is building on it. Each builder must choose with care how to build on it, for no one can lay any foundation other than, one, other than the one that has been laid. That foundation is Jesus Christ.
reading from Luke's Gospel, chapter 18. A certain ruler asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honour your father and mother. He replied, I have kept all these since my youth. When Jesus heard this, he said to him, There is still one thing lacking. Sell all that you own and distribute the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me.
Let us pray. We pray for strength to follow Jesus. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, Whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, Unless you change and become humble like little children, you can never enter the kingdom of heaven. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, Happy are the humble. They will receive what God has promised. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, Be merciful as your Father is merciful. Love your enemies and do good to them. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, Love one another as I love you. There is no greater love than this to lay down your life for your friends. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, Go to people everywhere and make them my disciples, and I will be with you always to the end of time. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Gathering all our prayers together, let us pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
receive God's blessing upon us. May God give to you and to all those you love his comfort and his peace, his light and his joy in this world and the next, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
Thank you.